Welcome to this Java tutorial. We are going to use an IDE called Eclipse. So let's launch up Eclipse. When Eclipse launches up, what you'd see is a, the Eclipse launch screen. And it would also ask you for which workspace you would want to start working with. So workspace, you can think of a workspace as a, a place where you can work on a number of projects. So if I'm working on three or four projects probably I can create one workspace and use uh, all like do all those projects together I can use all workspace as a means of grouping projects together also you'd learn up more about it as we go on for now you can enter the workspace name as any folder that you would want uh, to use to store this workspace in I have entered retools.com um, and press ok so enter the workspace name and press ok so this would launch up something called the workspace um, probably if you are launching uh, uh, this workspace for the first time you would see a welcome window you can just close that welcome window and then you would see almost a screen almost similar to this I've done a few changes to the screen to make it uh, easier for you to look at it in a video I mean the fonts might be much bigger the default fault would be much smaller than what you'd see but uh, you should you'd, you'd be able to easily adjust to that okay let's now create our first java project so, so let's go ahead and create our first java project how do you create a java project is like this so you say file new and java project so click on java project so file new java project once you click on the Java project, what happens is a window comes up where you can enter the name of the project. So since we are going to do a number of mathematical calculations in our first project, what I would call this project is maths. You can re leave the rest of the settings as they are right now and then click next. Um, what you would see now is uh, the source folders, the projects, and the libraries. So, typically, a Java project would be depending on a number of other projects and libraries. So, uh, our project is our first Java project, so it's very simple. Let's just create one source folder. So, just click on the tab create no new source folder and create a folder called test. This is because we are going to do test first development, we'll write the test first we'll store all our tests in the test folder and we'll actually write our code in the source folder so create a folder called test this is also a source folder so i would create that first up the next thing you need to focus on is the libraries tab we want to write j units so we would want to add the j unit library also into the uh, class path so now i would go ahead and configure the j unit library click next on the previous screen and then select JUnit 4 if you look at the JUnit version we are going to use is 4.8.2 I would go ahead and click next so what we have now is in the source we have a source SRC standing for source and the test folders which are source folders and in libraries I have Java SE 1.6 that's Java 1.6 and JUnit 4 so that's the things which we are going to use and click finish so there you go you have just created your first java project and if you look at your package explorer on the left hand side it should show these following details first it should show a source folder a test folder and then the jre system library and the junit4 now let's go ahead and create our first java class so similar to the java project it's file new instead of java project let's choose class right now so i choose class and in the source folder i would want to create a test first because we are going to do test first development so first choose test uh, as the source folder and then uh, it highlights the name um, the name of the class is a very important thing uh, even before that what is a class right now uh, you can think a class as something of a generic concept um let's say uh, a bank account 
is a class a calculator is a class so for now you can think of class as something which is a kind of a real world object or a concept so for now what we are going to do is calculations so i'll call this class a calculator and at the first we would see uh, we would do test first development so we'll call this class as calculator test let's write the test class first the other thing you'd notice here is if you look at this java the eclipse always keeps prompting you saying uh, if you are doing any uh, like anything which is not right or anything which is not uh, considered normal over here if you see it says the use of default package is discouraged first thing what is a package um, a package is something which helps you to group classes um for example i have a house and i have different rooms and i actually pack all my objects all my all the things which belong to me into different rooms for example probably i'll uh, put my do in my dressing room and uh, probably i'll put my bat in my store room so uh, similar to that packages help us to organize classes into different buckets um let's try and name our first package usually the convention is to go the reverse way to the usual so we'll come from very generic to very specific so com dot ritu dot we are going to do calculation so probably something saying maths dot calculator uh, dot so this would basically be my uh, package name so i can go ahead now and click finish if you look at the screen right now eclipse would have created a file called calculator test.java and opened it up in the editor so this is what is called the package declaration this is the value which we entered in the screen so this is the package name and the keyword package with a followed by a space and the map. and the name of the package followed by a semicolon this is basically how you create a package in java the next thing you would see is the definition of the class there is something called public public uh, is a keyword which indicates that this class is available to every other class outside we'll discuss more about it in further classes a class as we discussed earlier represents a concept call calculator here so this is the these are keywords or java highlights the keywords usually uh, eclipse highlights the keywords generally in red color so you would see, what do you see in red color in here are java keywords so public space class space calculator test calculator test is the name of the class and the entire body of the class entire content of the class is between an open brace and a closed brace this is called an opening brace and this is the closing brace so the other thing you can notice is the folder structure if i actually go ahead go to the test folder and look it up you would see a directory structure which would be something something like com slash ritus slash maths slash calculator in which there would be a file named calculator test one important rule for you to follow is the name of the class and the file name so the file name here is calculator test.java the name of the java class file should be the name of the class .java here the name of the class is calculator test so the name of the class calculator test .java that's the name of the file where this class is going to be stored in and also the package structure should match whatever package that we provide so the directory structure would be something like com/ritus/maths/calculator the good thing is we are using eclipse and eclipse takes care of doing all that stuff for you in the background so that's really the fun aspect of using uh, ide it helps you be very productive now that we understood what a class is how to create a class how to put it in a package 
let's go ahead and create our first test. So how do I say something is a test? Uh, at is a at denotes something called an annotation. An annotation actually adds more value, I mean more significance to the code which is already there. We'll discuss annotations in detail little later. For now, you can assume that this annotation helps us identify the method which we are going to create, the function which we are going to create as a test method. So all that you need to do is key in at test and press control space. Now Eclipse is a very good IDE. It brings up the options which can help to solve this problem. So now uh, you see in the drop down the first option is test all the JUnit. So just click it. What happens now is actually Eclipse added in an import to our Java file. So its import is all.junit.test. JUnit is a framework which helps us write JUnits very easily. So we are going to use JUnit to write the test. So let's go ahead and actually write our first test. Uh, one important thing that we need to always remember is any test should start with public, void and then the name of the test. So we are going to do a program to calculate squares. So what we are going to do now is actually write a program to calculate the squares of numbers. So calculate squares of numbers. This is what we are going to do. Um, for example, if I pass in the input as 1, I want the output as 1 into 1. That's actually 1. So that's a simple case. Um, if I pass in 2, I would want 2 into 2. That's actually 4. Oops, I'm good at mathematics. Now, let's take something complicated. Probably if I want to pass in something like 15, I would want to see 15 into 15. Oops, that's a difficult calculation. I've done that before for you. <laughs> the output should be something like 225. So, we want to write a method which does this. So, I want something which helps me to calculate the squares of the numbers. We want to write the test first. So, I would say add test, public void test, I would for now just call it something, so I will call it test squares, this is not really, it, this might not end up being the best possible name for this, we will come back and rename it at a later point in time. So what you are seeing right now is a test called public void test squares and that's basically all that you need to do to create a simple test. Let's go. We have not written any code right now. Let's just go ahead and run and see what happens. You need to do run as, just say go ahead and do run as JUnit test. And it asked me to save the file. I'm going to go ahead and save the file. And there you go. Our first successful JUnit. Whatever you are seeing on the left hand side right now is called the JUnit window. This is basically where it shows different uh, tests which are running in the application and says whether they are successful or not. Um, we have not done anything in this method right now. So it basically says it's successful because the test doesn't know that we have, we have not actually told the test to check for something right now. So the test actually doesn't check for anything and therefore it's... A Let's end our first video here. In the next video, let's write the real test and get the code working. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.